Do we say it together? Okay. Five, six, seven. Cash me a star. How about that? Okay, I'm done. I'm so scared. <laughs> Hey, I just want to say, <laughs> is it recording? Yeah. Such a girl. Shout out to my mom. Okay, let's go. <laughs>
Is she watching us? <laughs> yes, she's hiding. But yeah, I'm gonna say it's a tie between Haveen and Amreen, depending on who's had more sleep and more coffee. <laughs> yeah. Actually, she doesn't even need coffee, Amreen. I feel like we are. I know it seems wrong to say that we yeah. are, but, but also sad. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> the biggest troublemaker is probably Amreen. I don't know, she's just. There's no reason. You just know that she's the biggest troublemaker. She's smaller than me. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 uh, it's probably a, it's a probably ring. a ring. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest troublemaker is Sad because like she does something opposite to everyone else. So like when we went to shoot our doco, right? Everyone went to McDonald's, but she chose to go to Hungry Jack. Everyone did Dutch braids, two Dutch braids for BDU, but she did like one braid and like she just does her own stuff, man. I would say the biggest troublemaker are definitely the Twelvies because they form this little clan of theirs and they're like, that's it, we're just gonna screw with all of them today. And then the worst thing is that they know what to do. We're the ones who don't know what we're doing. Uh, probably the Twelvies, so maybe Emreen, I reckon. What? Just because she's the youngest, she's the bubbliest, loves to like jump around. She does jump around a lot. A lot. <laughs> like she's never, t I've never seen her low in energy ever. Like actually annoys me. Sahaj. <laughs> she's my Jordy. But I swear to God, every time we have a comp, the most annoying thing she does is, I don't want to wear red lipstick. Sad, it's the team thing. Everyone wears red lipstick, but I don't want to wear it. You're going to wear it. And then, I don't want to wear black tights. And we're like, but everyone's wearing black tights. You're going to wear black tights. Rocks up in jeans. Yeah, Sad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If I wasn't me, I'd definitely say I was the most annoying person in the team. <laughs> Um, like, as a captain, you're constantly the one, I guess, by nature, that's shouting at everyone, stopping everyone from socialising, having fun and everything. But that apart, I'll tell you this, most annoying, I'll give it to Amreen because she will not do anything all through practice, but when everyone does the final run through, she knows it all. She knows it all, she's got the energy, stuff like that, which is why I'm like, bro, I'm panting here. <laughs> here you are. So yeah, but I reckon I'll give it to me. I'm probably the most annoying. Honestly, it's definitely her mean. Like, like she's I didn't, funny, but it's kind of annoying at times. Like, <laughs> I don't think she realizes how much she like annoys all of us, but <laughs> still, she keeps us laughing. No, but she's it's pretty good. Yeah. In our circuit, my favorite dancers, people who I love to watch dance. Um, one person doesn't even probably know me, so it's weird. It's just Lean from B2B. <gasps> that was my answer. <laughs> She's a pleasure to watch. Um, second of all, Alina from Natch Dishan. That energy, that face, I love her. She's a great person as well. So, And then my brother. From that Bay. was one of my answers too! <laughs> Oman. Because like, I see how much work he puts into it as well. So I guess I'm a little biased, but I love it. I love how, how he went from like when he just joined to where he is now, you know, going, going overseas. And that was just, he like, Took it all in stride. So, so basically, two of three, two of three <laughs> were the same answers. But um, a third person that I definitely have to say, and like this is one person that I literally can just watch her face, and it's enough. Is Ia from HPD? She came to watch one of our practices once, and we were just busy watching her, <laughs> and that didn't go well. But like seriously, that girl never looks like Pia and Mona. Definitely them two. I reckon they're like um, both from HPD. Are a massive da dynamic duo. So my favourite dancer from like the Australian circuit is probably Balala from Mob. Um, that's probably because like his stage presence is just like he he like he looks so good on stage. It's incredible, and I don't think like I could ever achieve that. So yeah, um, my favourite person from like our circuit is probably Tanu Tilo from Bass because he smashes everything and his smile is great and his nakara. Okay, I really enjoy watching Alina from Natalishan. I don't know, there's something about the way she dances. It's like mesmerizing. <laughs> yeah. Mine's Alpuna from Natalishan as well. Yeah. I don't know, it's just that she's so energetic and like all upbeat and jumpy and it's great to watch. Um, my favorite female dancer in our circuit is Fia from HPD. Only like because one, she's such a lovely person as it is. And on top of that, on stage, she always looks so happy. 
when I did BD, I was like, if I just smile like Fia the whole time, I don't even care what I'm actually doing. Like, it'll be fine. Um, the other favourite of mine would be Gary from Mob, only because one, he was yellow and I was yellow at BDU. Two, he's just improved so much, like he did really well and I was like, whoa, where did that come from? So, um, My favourite dancers have to be, so Mayo would be Prince, because he's like a really good teacher, he's really patient and like, he's a really nice person. And female, I think it would be Rabia from Bass Queen, because like, she's really good at dancing, yeah. Roger that. Um, my few favourite people, I guess, from our circuit, there's Fia from HPD. Her dancing is amazing and her personality is just as good as well. She's really nice and lovely to speak to in general um, and her dancing is really amazing as well. The person that inspires me the most is, pro I, I never really tell him, but it's probably my brother Anoop from bass because I watch him dance at home and practice all the time and everything he does is like with, like he has so much passion and like interest in him. It just like kind of lifts everyone up and like, yeah. Um, I would say probably Simran and Gorbin from bass. Like they're, they're usually a Geordie. Um, their energy and like they're like they they always hit every single beat sort of thing. Like every time I've watched their performances, they like the energy and the form and everything is always on point with those. My favorite Bungay team, which I feel like two. we might have the same answer though. But the after well, my favorite Bungay team from the US circuit currently because they absolutely ripped their broad performance is Royal Girl, Royal Girls Bungay. Their Jutti Kasuri was like something else and also um, as just an all girls team like they had an energy that like matched up to all the other guys teams on stage which obviously I'm not saying girls teams can't do it but just physically speaking like involves a lot more work I can say as girls to have that kind of form and stuff going but yeah that's my answer. I wish Bunga Knights would come back properly that's that's one um yeah, I'm not going to list more because there's a lot. <laughs> um, so my favourite Bangladesh team from the US is probably DRP. Yeah, like, yeah, like we've watched like a lot of their performances and honestly, like every time they just get better and better. It's just like, I could watch it like six times continuously and it like just gets better. Me too. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, my favourite team in the US States Canada circuit um, is CMU. Only because they're so entertaining and they just bring so much new stuff every time. And I don't even watch Bangla videos much, but for them, I'm like, yes, watch it. For me, it has to be NSG, especially from the Bruin performance, I think it was. Um, it's because like, they all look like they're having fun on stage and yeah, they look like a big Bunga family. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah um, I think DRP, like their most recent performance was just off the charts, amazing. I liked how they used so many different sort of um, like different music, different steps and everything. Um, and they just like, I feel like they just took the routine and they did something really new with it. And that was really, like it was really amazing to watch that one. So I have this thing where every time I go to a hotel, like I have to steal their free stuff. And one thing is shower caps, and I absolutely look great in shower caps. <laughs> I love shower caps. And so it was great because, like, when we went to Melbourne, our hotel had shower caps. And so I you put went it down on. to breakfast with a shower cap on. It was I so know. embarrassing. I don't and know. I was literally walking around the hotel, and like, it feels great because, like, everyone was laughing at me and stuff, but I feel like they didn't judge me. They were like, you know what? You, you do you. You know, you wear that shower cap for breakfast, and I did it. And I've never felt better. <laughs>